Hi, this is Rick from RITE, and in this training video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Store Operations Manager. So, Store Operations Manager is the software that you use to manage the data for your store. You create products, you run reports, it's your back office software. You can access this from your desktop, and you can see I've clicked on the desktop icon here. Or if you don't have the desktop icon, you can also go into the Start menu, All Programs, Microsoft Retail Management Systems, and then you have Store Operations Manager. So when you open this program, you're going to be prompted for a username and password, just like the cash register software. Um, so I'm going to log in here quick. Um, the username and password, make sure that you're allowed to access the software so you can have cashiers that can run the point of sale but they can't access Store Operations Manager and it also you know, um, manages what we can or cannot do in this software. So once we log in, we navigate to wherever we want to go. Now you've got this task pad here where you can click on these pictures and drill down into the different functionalities of the system or you have these menus at the top. Now you'll quickly notice that there's some overlap here. For example, if I click items and I click edit items, it brings up a list of, in this case, the 3,300 and some odd items I have in the database. If I go to database and items, it brings up the same list. So the taskpad and these drop down menus have a lot of the same functions. Um, though me personally, I always use these menu options because they have at least as much stuff as the taskpad. The taskpad is easy, clicking on a picture is simple, but these drop down menus are more comprehensive. So as a power user of the system, this is always where I go. One other thing that you'll probably notice is when I am on items, you'll see this little icon here, these little boxes representing inventory. Um, if I go back to this main window, you'll see the same or similar icon. And if you go to the top menu up here, you'll see that as well. And as a matter of fact, when I hover over it, it says items. So there are like five or six or ten, whatever, um, little pictures here that are quick buttons to get directly into the most commonly used things. If you hover over each of them, you'll see what they do. The inventory wizard, purchase orders, transfers etc. And if I go to database and I go to customers, there you see the little icon. It's the same icon as uh, this one right here. Um, I'll click it and I'm into my customer search form. Um, if you are looking at the top of the screen here, um, the database menu is where most of the properties of the system are located. Okay, so all the things that you're going to manage, products, customers, suppliers, cashiers, um, those things are all in this menu. All the things that relate to modifying your inventory levels, not all but most, are in the inventory tab. Purchase orders, transfers, your physical inventory counting functionality. Um, so the database uh, menu is very important. This has all of the core things. Managing inventories on the inventory tab, journal, um, update, batch info. This relates to potentially your end of day process, depending on how you close your tills out. Uh, we have wizards. Wizards allow you to make big changes to your system very easily. So you could, for example, put all of your wine on sale in about two minutes. You know, you might have a thousand wine items, but you could put them all on sale for 10% off using a wizard. Or you could change the tax on all of your cigarettes in two minutes. You know, all cigarettes change to this new tax. Um, reports. This is where all of the reports are inside the system. On utilities, this is kind of a grab bag of some additional things. Label designer, for example, is where you go to design your own label template. So, if you want the price on your price tag that's on your shelf to be larger, you could use the label designer to do that. Um, Add-ins, this is going to be key for a lot of you 
this is where all of the RITE add-ins are for Microsoft RMS. So a lot of the very important tools you're going to use like advanced PO or printing labels, um, those things are in here. Um, as well as the capability to back up your database or settle your credit card batch. Um, one that I skipped a little bit is file. So really the important thing here is file and configuration. Um, this is kind of the guts of your system. You can modify how the point of sale system works, how some things happen in the back office software. So be careful if you're in here changing things. Um, this is kind of, you know, the gears in your point of sale system. Um, also notice on window we have the ability to tile um, panes. So you actually can be modifying an item and updating your departments and categories. For example, if this um, Dunkel doesn't have a category, I can go to my beer, I can create a new category on the fly if I wanted to, and then come back to this window and assign it all without closing them. So on this window um, uh, menu here, I actually can make it so that um, I can tile open windows. You know, I had four things open, it's trying to make them fit in the small screen that I have. And then lastly, we have help. Um, and the, uh, under About Store Operations Manager, this will tell you, um, you know, the version of the system. More importantly, help and contents. This is the user manual for the software in its entirety. Though I don't really recommend accessing it from the help menu. Instead, if you're somewhere where you need help, almost always there's going to be a help button. So if I go to the inventory tab of my products and I click on help, it will take me to that same user manual, but now I am on the page inside the manual that relates to what I'm looking at. I was on the inventory tab on my product. Well, here's what everything means. So um, I know nobody likes reading help manuals, but this is a really good resource. I mean, you can answer a lot of your own questions by using this if you want to. Um, okay, so that's an, a brief introduction to Store Operations Manager. Thanks.